I like, um, what's the guy from Japan? Yeah, yeah. President of Naoya Inoue's gym and former world champion said that if Naoya Inoue moves up a weight class in the future, he has plans to face Gervonta Davis in the United States and is considering a pay-per-view matchup between the two fighters. Like, do you foresee potentially at some day you guys meeting together, maybe at a catchweight or maybe if he keeps going up in weight? That fight will be like... It's like a dream fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. The potential boxing fight between Naoya Inoue and Gervonta Davis has generated significant excitement and anticipation within the boxing community. <laughs> Both fighters are highly skilled and have impressive records, making this potential matchup a dream for boxing fans. Davis is the best, the best lightweight in the world right now. Inoue is considered one of the pound-for-pound pound best. Former undisputed bantamweight champion Inoue set to move up a weight class to challenge Stephen Fulton for his unified super bantamweight titles. If I leave a great result, that is going to leave a great image for the boxing fans all over the world. With an impressive record of 24 wins and zero losses, and 21 of those victories coming by way of knockout, Inoue has displayed devastating power and impeccable technique. I haven't seen that speed and that power since Manny Pacquiao. On the other hand, Gervonta Davis has held multiple world championships in three weight classes, also shown tremendous skill and power. Oh, you. With a record of 29 wins and zero losses, with 27 knockout victories, Davis has made a name for himself as a knockout artist. We say it once in a while, the Mike Tyson of the smaller weight class. A potential fight between Inoue and Davis would be a clash of two powerhouses in the lower weight divisions. That area, and that's a that's gonna fall from his Additionally, the fight would attract a wide range of fans, as both Inoue and Davis have a significant following. You are here for the excitement and the knockout. That's what Tank delivers. Based on the statement made by Hideyuki Ohashi, it is predicted that Naoya Inoue, the highly talented boxer and current champion, might consider moving up a couple weight class in the future. Monster vacated his four 118-pound titles in January, one month after he captured the undisputed bantamweight championship with an 11th-round KO of Paul Butler, to chase titles in a fourth weight class. Former undisputed bantamweight champion Naoya Inoue is set to move up a weight class to challenge Stephen Fulton for his unified super bantamweight titles. This fight right here is shoes. I, I have the dog in me. If, if, it need to, if, it need to, if I need to stay in there, I'll stay in there, but I, and I also can box. Inoue has gained popularity not only in Japan but also internationally, while Davis has a dedicated fan base in the United States and beyond. He's much more than what a lot of people thought he was, which was just a good puncher. He's a complete son of a gun. The clash between these two fighters would not only be a battle for supremacy in their respective weight classes, but also a chance to showcase their skills to a global audience. Both fighters have established themselves as exceptional talents in their respective weight classes, and a matchup between them would undoubtedly be an electrifying event. That guy can box. That guy, he could go he get you. He, he could counter. His defense is responsible. Gervonta Davis, also known as Tank, is an American professional boxer who has made a name for himself in the super featherweight, lightweight and super lightweight divisions. In a blockbuster non-title fight that took place at catchweight of 136 pounds, Gervonta knocked out Ryan Garcia with a withering body shot in the seventh round of their eagerly awaited summit meeting. He came in and he was rushing and then he ran into a shot. The potential boxing fight between Naoya Inoue and Gervonta Davis would not only be a treat for hardcore boxing fans but also an opportunity to attract new fans to the sport. If Naoya Inoue does decide to move up a weight class, it would be a significant career move for him. He's a freak of nature. I've never seen punches like that. It would showcase his willingness to challenge himself against tougher opponents and solidify his reputation as one of the best boxers of his generation. The monster has power. Naoya Inoue and Gervonta Davis are both highly skilled boxers who have made significant contributions to the sport. I'm definitely face a boxer. While they possess unique styles and techniques, there are also similarities between their boxing skills. <laughs> 
One similarity between Inoue and Davis is their exceptional power and knockout ability. He destroys his opposition. Both fighters are known for their devastating punches, which have resulted in numerous knockouts throughout their careers. Inoue has an impressive knockout ratio of 87.5%, while Davis has 93.1%. Another similarity is their defensive skills. Both Inoue and Davis possess great reflexes and the ability to avoid punches with their agility and footwork. They have shown the ability to slip punches and counter effectively, making them difficult to hit. Another similarity between Inoue and Davis can be seen in their speed and agility inside the ring. Both fighters possess exceptional hand speed, allowing them to land quick and accurate punches. To finish it here, and he punch him down. Their agility allows them to move swiftly around the ring, making it difficult for their opponents to land clean shots. Despite these similarities, there are also notable differences in their boxing skills and techniques. He's the top dog. He's going to keep going out there, proving to the world that he is the best. One of the key differences lies in their fighting styles. <laughs> Inoue is known for his aggressive and relentless approach. Oh, this is unbelievable. He often applies constant pressure on his opponents, overwhelming them with his power and speed. This guy is a beast. On the other hand, Davis is more of a counterpuncher, using his defensive skills and reflexes to dodge incoming punches and then deliver devastating counters. In conclusion, while Naoya Inoue and Jervonta Davis share similarities in their knockout power and combination skills, they have differences in their fighting styles, defensive techniques, and weight divisions. Champion who has knocked out just about every opponent he's faced at 140 pounds. These distinctions contribute to their unique boxing identities and make them both formidable fighters in their own right. But that power comes someplace from deep inside. A pay-per-view matchup between Naoya Inoue and Jervonta Davis would not only be exciting for boxing enthusiasts, but also a lucrative opportunity for both fighters and promoters. Take it as a, as a big puncher, and one big punch, it might be over. It could potentially draw a large audience, both domestically and internationally, and generate significant revenue through pay-per-view buys and ticket sales. He has huge talent and was rolling along. With strategic marketing efforts, the anticipation and buzz for this potential fight could reach unprecedented levels, making it a must-see event for boxing enthusiasts worldwide. The result of the fight would depend on various factors, including the strategies employed by the fighters, their physical condition, and their ability to adapt to the new weight class.